All right, so we've made a start screen, so we're just going to go ahead and save that. Save. Uh, let's go to our uh, normal scene, or our, our first scene. So I'm just going to go to scenes, level one. Okay. One of the problems is that, let's say we're playing a game, we're like, oh, I don't want to play anymore. We don't really have a way of getting out of it. So we need to make um, either a, a, a pause menu. We're going to make a pause menu. Uh, that will allow us to pause the game, but also quit the game if we want, or go back to the start screen, really. Okay. So, to do that, we're going to make, uh, we have a canvas right now that's controlling all these things. I'm going to make another canvas that's on top of that canvas, okay? So, we're not going to add canvas elements to this. We're going to make another one. So, it's actually going to keep the game up. It's not going to be another, it's not going to be another level. It's just going to be an overlay over the game. Uh, that way, you can kind of still see the game and it makes sense, okay? So, uh, go to create UI and this time, actually, go ahead and make the, another canvas. And then I'll make canvas. And then we'll just call this, um, let's see the canvas part. We'll call it pause menu canvas. Okay. That way, uh, and all of our pause menu items will go onto this canvas. So first thing I want to do is create UI and then go to where are you panel. That is just an overlay over the whole thing. And you can see, uh, and what I can do is if you want, let's make it like darker. And then I can take the alpha and make it completely see through. Uh, go like that. Actually, let's go like this. And so it'll make the background a little bit darker, right? So A is for alpha, RGBA. Um, good. So let's close that out. Okay. So now we have this panel over it, which will help a little bit. Um, the other thing I want to do is actually add something that says pause on it. So just make sure you have the canvas selected so it knows which one to go to. UI text. And we'll just call this uh, pause text. And I'm just literally going to write pause on it so that we know what it is. Uh, click on this, Alt and Shift. I'm gonna click to go to the center. Okay, I'm not really, oh, it's right there. It's really hard to see. Um, let's go ahead and just, uh, again, I would spend time on this. I'm just not going to, because I don't want to, but you probably should. I'm just gonna make it 72, we'll center it. Uh, let's do 500 by 100, just so that it's big enough to see. Um, and let's see. I just want to make sure I can see it. Um, okay. And then the color currently is this. Let's go ahead and I'm just going to do white so I can see a little bit better. Um, but, you know, you could also do a white uh, panel. Do whatever you want with it. You don't have to do a panel at all if you don't want. I'm just just trying to, you know, make it so we can see it. Okay. So that says pause. That's fine. Let's go ahead and move this up some. So I'll just move it up, let's say, 100. Okay. Good. There's pause. And again, you could add more flourish and stuff just like we did with the start menu, but I just want to know that it says pause. Now we just need to make two buttons, one for resume game and one for uh, quit game, okay? So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So create UI um, button. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select my same sprite as before. And let's do with, let's do, I don't know, 200. How come that looked so... Oh, you know what? It wasn't that big. Oh, whoops. I went negative with that. Hang on. Okay. Let's try. Uh, let's do 100. That's probably better. Okay. But, you know, that's going to be the size and the scales based off of that. Um, okay. And let's go ahead and we're going to uh, uh, make the pivot to the center. And then we'll just offset it on X. Let's say minus uh, 75. Okay. So there's a button. Uh, oh, let's rename this one. Um resume okay well resume button i should make more sense resume button and uh inside of that there's going to be the text element that goes in here and just go ahead and put res resume okay uh and again you can go through and make all this I ain't, i'm not going to bother but you probably should so let's control d to duplicate it and this one will be the quit button quit button uh, and we're just going to go ahead and do a positive 75. So it's on the other side and open up and we're just going to say quit. Okay. So we have a resume and quit and we'll call that a pause menu. Now, again, do more with it. This is just real very sick because I want you to watch me doing a million things. Uh, you should know how to do the graphical part. Okay. So we've got that. We got a, a, a resume and start. Now, what I want to have happen is this. I'm just going to collapse this because we don't really need to gain access to it right now. I want to be able to have this off. I don't want it on all the time. So the, on every element, you'll see this little button on the top here. 
it doesn't matter what it is. Like if you go here, it'll turn those on and off. Uh, the, you know, the, where's the uh, player? Oh, I'm on player. Okay. On off. Okay. That's set active. Okay. That's basically just, it's a, it's an overall just on off button that you could turn it on and off based on whatever. Okay. So that's how we're actually going to access um, this uh, menu to turn it on and off. Okay. Now to turn it on and off, what we're going to do is use a button that the player can hit a button and that will pop open the pause menu. Now you could choose whatever button you want, but I'm just going to show you where that is. So I'm going to go to input project settings. I'm sorry, pro, uh, edit project settings, input, input, and you'll see we have all these axes, okay? Um, and like the bottom one here is cancel, and you'll see it's hooked up to escape. I'm going to use the cancel axis, uh, but you can make a new one. All you got to do is if you type in 19, because there was 18 axes, it's going to duplicate the last one. If I type in a higher number, like let, I'm not going to type in 30 because it'll be a lot. I'm going to go back to 18, uh, but basically it'll add more axes onto them. Okay, so, uh, but I'm just going to use cancel because it's already here. And right now it's hooked up to the escape key. If you want to do another key, you could do like F or you could do like um, left shift. Okay, uh, it, you literally just write down what it is. And if it's acceptable, it will allow you. So like, right, watch this. If I do shift and click up here, it goes away. It's because it's not an, uh, an acceptable one. So if you don't know if it works or not, just click off and then. You could also look for it, like search online, and I'm sure you can find it. But we're going to use escape key, okay? Just so you're aware that that is the access that we're using. All right. So from there, what we need to do is go to our um, scripts. And I don't think I made one yet. So we're going to do a game controller script. So I'm going to right-click, create C-sharp script. I want to call it game controller script. And basically, this is a script that's meant to control the game. So let's go ahead and open that one up. But we're going to use it to control this menu as well. Hopefully it pops open. Is it doing it? it Look like it did it. Try on. There it goes. Now it should be doing it. Great. Okay. So let's go ahead and close that. And what we're going to do is on the update. I, um, I'm going to make a, a script that is for our pause screen. So we're just going to do a, um, does this need to be public? I can't remember. Um, let's make it public just in case. Public, um, we're going to call it pause screen will be the name of it. Did I put that in there? Okay. Okay, so this will be our pause screen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run this whenever, and we're going to we're going to search for when the player does um, uh, hits the pause menu. Okay, so uh, for when they hit escape. All right, so we're going to do if input dot. Now here's the thing: we've always been doing get access. Input has a bunch of other options. Um, one of the other ones they have is get button down. Okay, uh, so you want to do get button down, and then we want to we want to search for cancel, and this will be and that's all there is. This is a boolean; it's a true or false. So either the button's down or it's not. So if it is down, it's going to run what we put in here, which is going to be that pause screen function. I don't understand what's going on with that. I keep getting a zero in there. Maybe I'm just typing. Anyway, so now it's going to say, okay, if the if uh, get button down if cancels push down run pause screen and then here is pause screen all right so uh, we need to actually find the pause uh, menu so up here let's go ahead and make a variable that will hold it so it'll be um, a pub uh, no we need private private uh, game object because that's what we want to turn on it's the game object of it. Um, and then it's going to be the pause menu. Um, pause menu canvas, we'll say. That's what it is, I think. Um, okay, and then right on the start, we'll just go ahead and we will grab it. I just wanna see what the name of it is real quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it just to make sure it's the same, Control C. And then we'll go in here and it'll be, um, pause menu canvas is going to be equal to um, game object dot find and the game object I want to find is going to be the, that name and that's all we need okay 
Now, after we find it, what I need to do is actually turn it off because you're going to notice it's on. So when the game first starts, I want to turn that off. So right in here, we're just going to go ahead and do pause menu canvas dot set active. And we're going to set active and we're going to say false. Oops. False. Because it's a Boolean. All right. So set active is literally this button. So I can have it true or false. If it's false, it means we're, we're basically clicking it off. So after I find it, I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to turn it off. Okay. Then in here, we can actually just copy this. Control C. In here, we're just going to go ahead and turn it on. So pause menu. And this time, it's going to be true. Okay. So that'll turn it on. Uh, and there you go. Okay. Now, this isn't going to quite work. Uh, but I just want you to see that it will well, it'll work. But it's just not going to work quite the way we want. Oops. Method must have a return type. 2412. What did I do? Public. Oh, whoops, sorry. Void. <laughs> Control S. Forgot the void in there. Alright. There we go. Okay. So you're going to see right off the bat when I hit play, it's going to turn off. And then when I hit escape, it should pop up. So it's... Didn't turn it off. Pause menu canvas. Why you know turn off. All right, let's see. Actually, let's do... Oh, you know why? Because that script's not attached to anything. So we got to create uh, create empty and just call this game controller. All right. Create empty game controller and go ahead and put the game controller script on it. Then hit play. Uh, it was never actually attached to anything. Okay, so you can see it goes away. It went to hit escape, pops up, but that's it. It's just on. These buttons don't do anything because we didn't tell them to do anything yet. So uh, somewhat working, also somewhat not. I do want to make a point about one other thing too. You'll notice that up here I did get button down instead of get access raw or get access. Um, get access raw is another one. Uh, the reason being is that what would happen is the as you push on it, it would be active. So it'll actually just flutter on and off, on and off, on and off. Well, it just it would flutter um, as opposed to get button down, which is just execute. And then when I let go, like it just turn on and then it doesn't turn off. Like it just goes boom which is what I want to have happen. So that's why we use get button down and not get access. Okay, so this isn't going to quite work. And the reason being is we want to um, be able to turn it on and off by hitting escape key. So we're going to have to do it a little bit different. So instead of set active and then just true, we're going to basically set up a little piece of logic here. We're going to do exclamation point, which means the opposite of, and then it's going to be pause, um uh menu canvas dot active active in higher i always spell this wrong hierarchy is that right that looks wrong to me higher no hierarchy like that that should hopefully work okay so pause menu blah blah so basically um we're looking at the pause menu and then whether it's active in the hierarchy we're just going to do the opposite of what it currently is. Okay, so that's that's what that's saying. So save that. Hopefully I spelled that right. I'm really bad at spelling. Okay, and if we hit escape back and forth. Boom, good. We can turn it on and off, which is pretty sweet. Okay, that's what we wanted. All right, awesome. So uh, that part's functioning uh, for the most part. The other thing I want to do that when I hit it is that you'll notice that the game is still playing. I want it to um, <coughs> to uh, to pause, right? Because it's not really much of a pause menu if it's not pausing the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if time dot time scale. So basically you can control time. This time, this represents the time of the game. And then there's a bunch of different things in there. One of them is we can change the time scale. So basically if time... If the time scale is equal to one, meaning it's running real time like normal, nothing different about it. Go ahead and do time, oops, time dot time scale. Set that equal to zero, which means basically it's going to make time not move at all. Okay. Else, oops, I already did one. Else, um, we're going to do time dot uh, time scale. 
we're gonna set it equal to one. Okay, so basically, if it's already moving at real time, set it to zero. If it's not moving at real time, set it to uh, real time. And then if we save that, you will notice now that if we were to play the game, I don't know why that didn't take a second. Maybe I didn't save it. Oh, it's taking a while to start up. So see how the game's not moving. And we can turn the game on and off, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so that works pretty well. Um, good. So we've got the the uh, those two parts working. The next thing we need to do is actually make the buttons do something. So for that, we're just going to go ahead and on here add a couple of functions. So we'll do a public void, and we're going to go ahead and do um, load start screen, and basic. Basically, what we're going to do is write a function that will just load the very first scene, and that's pretty easy. So it's again, it's going to be scene manager dot load scene, and the scene I want to load is going to be zero because that's where the start screen is, like so. But if you remember, we actually have to load that Unity you uh, the using Unity engine dot um, what is it? Scene management. Yeah, scene management. Scene management. So that we can use the scene manager. Otherwise, we can't use it and it will get confused. So this will load the start screen. It's not connect to anything, but that's what it will do. Um, and then the other one we want to do. Oh, actually, I think. Hang on a second. Let me see something. Else. Yeah, actually, I think that's all we need, believe it or not. Uh, and I'll show you why. Because you're like, well, what about resume? I'll show you how we do that. So we're going to save it. And then we'll come back in here. And then in uh, just like the start menu buttons, we're gonna go over, open our pause menu. Here, okay. Um, and we're gonna go to the quit button because that one's a little bit easier. Hit the little plus. And it's gonna need an object. We're gonna grab our game controller object because that's the one with the scripts on it. And we're gonna go to game controller script and we wanna do load start screen, okay? So when you click on the quit button, it'll go to the start screen. Now for the resume button, Go ahead and hit the plus. Again, it's going to be game controller. And we didn't make a resume function. We don't need to because we can actually just go ahead and run the pause screen function. That's why we made it public originally because you might have been like, well, why does this one need to be public? Because we're basically, instead of having to hit escape, we can also just click the button and it'll do the same thing as hitting escape because that's what we're looking for it to do. So uh, that will work. And then we'll hit save. Or not save. I'm going to hit play. And if I hit escape, good. Resume also does the same thing. And if we hit quit, it's going to go to the start menu. And I can hit start. And it's going to go to um, the game here. Which, is it throwing me an error? Why is it being weird? Hang on. Okay. Oh, it's on opposites. <laughs> okay. Might have to fix that too. All right. So, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that is a start screen, um, or a pause menu, I should say. So we're having an issue basically. Uh, and what's happening is this, just so you get the idea, uh, is that when we hit, um, or if, when we hit escape and I go to quit, we are still paused in the game. The game's still playing at zero. So when I start here, it starts at, um, at pause, right? So it's not moving. The game, the time scale is at zero. If I hit escape, it toggles it on and off like it did before. So it's kind of doing the opposite. So we have to write two little things to kind of fix that. So I'm just going to go in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, pause menu set active, blah, blah, blah. And it says if time scale is one, but we're also say and <laughs> the pause menu canvas dot, oops, dot active in hierarchy. So basically we're going to say if the time scale is one, and the pause menu is on, then go ahead and do that. That way the pause menu will be the same. Uh, it'll be the same as the scale. So basically it'll only be on um, with this. And then the other thing I need to do is on the scene manager, uh, before we load the scene, I need to return the time scale. So we're just going to copy that. And we're just going to like that. And what that'll do is that it'll make time regular again and then go and load the first scene. And that way, when we come back, it'll already be, time scale will be back to one. 
And that will actually fix that weird issue where it was, you know, doing that thing. So now if we play it, come on. So hit ex click in here. There we go. Hit escape. Uh, resume work. Escape, escape. Okay. Hit quit. Start. And you can see the game works fine. Okay. So that will fix that issue. All right. Uh, good luck. So there's a pause menu. Uh, and now our game has most of the things that we need. Uh, as far as uh, a real basic one level sort of thing.